here we are again. Um, I'm gonna. This is hopefully gonna show you in better detail the autumn uh, fall style leaf. Um, as the other video, um, you couldn't see in great detail. Uh, I was gonna take it down, but I'll leave it up just in case um, anybody gets any sort of benefit from it. But anyway, here's the new improved version and hopefully you can see more that's going on. So we're going to go for the autumnal fall looking leaf which is going to be brown and that sort of uh, obviously that autumnal um, fall look. And I'm going to start off with dry brushing on some burnt sienna. So I'm actually running out of paint here so I'm using up all my small tubes. So uh, burnt sienna here we go. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I've undercoated the leaf with a mixture of uh, white and yellow ochre, so it gives that slightly off white look for the base, which will highlight the, the veins of the leaf. So, it's sort of pretty much like a, I don't know, like a household magnolia, which people paint the walls with. But anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so I've put a few coats of that on and now I'm going to just dry brush the burnt sienna over the top, the brown burnt sienna. So I'm going to cover the whole leaf with this colour and probably build up a few layers and again be patient building the layers up and uh, you should get a nice finish. Alright, so there we are. Uh, I'll just put one dust over with the burnt sienna. Um, I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to dust over again with another coat of burnt sienna. Well, here's the second coat of burnt sienna. Just dust it over. I sort of think think of uh, the dry brushing as like um, sort of brushing and getting sort of like a airbrushed. Effect. So you're just sort of dusting over. Right, okay. Um I'm going to put just probably maybe one more coat. It might need another coat of um, dry brush and the raw uh, uh, burnt sienna. Sorry. Um, anyway, you'll see when you do it. it, it uh, when you're happy with what you've got, um, you can move on to the next colour. I mean, you can go back on it and redo things and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to try and go for. Here's a leaf I've done before, which is a sort of autumnal colour. I only used three colours on this one, which was um, white, black and brown. And the same as in the uh, blue leaf video, just using the white and the black to uh, darken and lighten the um, brown. So uh, anyway, on this big leaf, I'm probably putting some orange and some yellow in the sort of central areas. Anyway, for the time being, I'll stick on a few, uh, maybe a couple more coats of raw sienna. Right, so I used a small paintbrush just to fill in a few crevices and um, whatever. Um, right, I'm going to put another. Just one more coat or dusting dry brush of uh, raw sienna and then that should be it. We can touch things up when we go through the colours if we need to anyway. I tend to go over the top of these things but um, I like building up the layers to get them as good as you possibly can. 
Right, I've mixed up a bit of um, orange with a little bit of white and I've put a little bit of burnt sienna in there as well. And I'll see how this turns out. And I'm going to flip this up from the inside. Actually, I don't think we need too much white mixed in with the orange. I'm actually going to put this on neat. I'm going to use a small paintbrush as well just to flick it out and maybe go a little bit towards the edges of the leaf. Okay, we'll let that um, dry off for a bit and then we'll come back in 10 minutes and I'll put another coat of orange again. It's pretty much going through the same process as what we did with the raw sienna. <clears throat> so just build it up bit by bit and uh, we'll see how it goes. With these, starting from the light um, background, <clears throat> tends to be a little bit more time consuming, or I find it more time consuming. If you've got a dark background, it's easier to build the lighter layers up rather than going from light to dark so um but anyway um it's taking shape or taking you know the colors are coming together and uh, with a bit of patience you know you 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 can achieve some nice results Right, so now you finish with the orange, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do the same thing again, but with yellow ochre. And that should uh, highlight the leaf a little bit more. But I mean, I've, I've taken the orange out nearly to the edge, so you've still got the um, raw sienna showing, and still patches of raw sienna throughout the leaf. And then I'm going to go over with the yellow ochre not so far out so you still see the orange um, highlights as well. Right so I'm going to let that dry for a bit and I'm going to stick some yellow ochre on. Okay. Alright so it goes with the yellow ochre. Right, I've mixed some uh, white with some yellow ochre. Uh, it's nearly the same colour as the veins, but not quite. Uh, I'm just going to dry brush, kind of a sort of a glowy effect, just across the um, vein area. Right, now we're going to apply... Um, a dark colour around the edge of the leaf, uh, make it look a little bit uh, more natural. Um, so I've mixed up some uh, raw sienna and some burnt umber, just for a little dark effect. So same again, dry brush around the edge. Right, I've mixed up some raw sienna and a bit of black. I'm just going to subtly go around the edge of the leaf over that last coat of paint. Darker paint. Oh, darker colour. I can't talk and do these things at the same time. I think I said that on the last video. I'm not very good at multitasking. I'm just going to add a touch of uh, neat raw sienna just around the edges. It's only a little bit. Just bring it in a bit more. 
Okay, so that is the finished article. And um, of course the, the back needs painting, but that, once that's all dry, I'll paint the um, back afterwards. Okay, so there we are, that's the improved video of the autumn leaf. Okay, thank you very much, and over out.